Yamaha SC500. They called it the leg breaker or the widow maker. Take your pick. This bike had such a notorious reputation as one of the worst dirt bikes ever made and arguably the worst dirt bike that Yamaha ever made. Most of its notoriety is this big 500cc single that had an automatic compression release just to get the thing started. And even when you did get it started, this huge, for the time, 38 millimeter carburetor was difficult to tune to get this engine so it wouldn't ping or blubber anywhere on the rev range. This engine, because of its short stroke and massive piston, really only made all of its power clear up at the top of the rev range and all but the most experienced riders were the only ones that could really tame this beast. When I say tame this beast, I use that term a little tongue in cheek because these rear shocks, even though they have this remote reservoir, which was pretty innovative at the time, didn't work actually all that well. A lot better than the shocks that came on previous models, but these faded so quickly that this rear end danced around as if it had a hinge in the middle. It seems like I read that somewhere. So the SC500 wasn't a very good bike when it debuted, but this one is quite special to me. This one is my dad's. He bought it brand new in 1974 and raced it, rode it. I even rode it when I got older in my teens, but it's been sitting a while and as you can see, needs some cleaning up and uh, I got a special surprise towards the end of the video of why I am cleaning this up. But as we go through it, we're gonna shine it up and see how good we can make it look without doing any major restoration on this. So let's get to it. We're just gonna start off by hosing off the bike and then using a mild car washing soap just to get the top layer of grime and storage dust off of the bike before we work on detailing it further. Another quick hose off of the bike and then we're going to work on using a light duty engine degreaser. This is going to now loosen some of that old grease, maybe two stroke oil and uh, maybe fork oil or other just road grime from storage or the last time that it was ridden. And we're going to put this everywhere mostly on the lower end of the bike we don't want to we don't need to put it onto the plastics or the tank or anything like that and especially on the tank where the paint is a little bit fragile we don't want to put anything real caustic on there to risk ruining that i'll show you something that i'm going to try later in the video we'll take a stiff brush and kind of rub all over on this after letting this sit about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to hose it right off and you'll see most of that grease that was on the hubs and the engine cases just fall right off. Now moving on to the seat, I like these cleaning wipes that come in a can. This is the cleaning wipe. This will get into all those little crevices and get the last little bit of dirt that's in those crevices. And then I like to use these detailing wipes. Now these just leave a kind of matte sheen on there and a little bit of a protection you can see here. Now on the fenders. To get out the little stains and some of the uh, dull and oxidation, we'll just sand it here a little bit, wipe it off using some wet uh, rags, and then we'll do a little bit of polishing to just shine it right up, and 
here you can see kind of a before and after, a place where I haven't done it and where I have done the sanding and polishing. And here is the piece de resistance. This is what we were working so hard on with this bike, is to bring it to this show. There's my big horn, you guys have seen that before. And then here it is, my display boards, the original boots, and one of my other bikes that you've seen on my website before. <laughs>